What is up, YouTube? We're back for another video. In this video, we're going over how to make coins with the Ultimate Alumni Pro program coming out tomorrow. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below, and let's get right into it. The new cards that are coming out tomorrow that we know so far, we have an A6 overall, Lamar Jackson, and we have an A7 LTD, Christian McCaffrey. Ultimate Alumni cards right now have went up in price due to Lamar Jackson getting announced because... Lamar Jackson had the best release in Madden 24. He's also the fastest quarterback in the game. He's the, he's the second A6 overall quarterback. And he's going to be good. He's going to be really good. We look at the A3 overall prices right now. In A2s, A2s we have 30k right now. Our A3s are looking like we're going for around 52. They were going for around 55. But what do you want to know? What do you, what do you want to know? Ultra Alumni, they'll probably have a set again. Just like last time, in case you missed it, has an 8 plus champion. Takes four 83s and 82. Just you gotta remember, keep that in mind, okay? Oh, um, Ultra Alumni had two cards last week, you know, two cards this week for the champions. Which means Lamar Jackson will be a one out of four chance to pull out of that set. In theory, it's not gonna actually be that odds, but he's been one of only four cards in that set. Ultimate alumni cards go right now. The 85s go for like um like 160 or something. Uh we got 160 for Eric Hendricks. Eric Hendricks will not be 160 tomorrow. He probably be he'll be probably be like 70, 60, 80, 90k, 100 k 100 k probably probably he's probably 110k max probably tomorrow. People will be opening those that 85 plus pack so much. Mike Evans. He's 360 k right now. One of the best receivers in the game. He's probably going to be, realistically, 220. 200. Okay. Realistically. He might be cheaper than that, too. Which, right now, what we know from the set. If the set is 30k for that card. And we have our 83s for 52 each. If the set's going to be like 230, 240k per. So, on that set, you would have to pull Lamar Jackson or, or the other A6. Which would probably be like Aaron Donald, Isaiah Simmons, or some other player. You have to pull A6 to be able to profit on the set, which the set does not look like it'll be worth it to open. Just for you guys to know. Do not open the set unless we see like Lamar Jackson 600k, 700k. Lamar Jackson Lamar will probably be like 450k. Let's be honest right now. 450, 500k, maybe cheaper than that. Maybe more expensive, but if there's only two champions tomorrow, he probably will, maybe he might actually even go under 400 k So don't do the set at all. Don't do it. Unless you see unless the price are really crazy. And A3 went way down, A2 went way down. But I'll be making a video on the set, going over everything. But the best thing tomorrow, it's going to be... it will. It's going to be sniping these cards. Sniping is going to go crazy tomorrow. Uh, sniping goes pretty good every single time, just content. But Ultimate Alumni has such good cards normally. Like, it might work even better. I don't know why, I don't know why Ultimate Alumni has such stacked top tier cards, but they do. Especially because like we got McCaffrey, we got Lamar Jackson and all that stuff. I'm just buying these cards right now because I wanna I'm gonna be making a video for you guys on the champion pack. So yeah. Filter is gonna be tween tomorrow. You can do A2, A3s, filter ult ultimate alumni. You're gonna sort by position most likely because even right now there's 93 cards in the market. I don't even think all, all offense for ult alumni works right now for A2, A3s. So you filter down to half back right here. And we see, you see, you got, you're going to have to filter by, by position by position. Like defense, you go look at right outside linebacker. You go look at positions like uh, strong safety. Put strong safety tomorrow because it has two cards. You might have to go over to the catalog. But you go press, press your R1 button. You could click X on the card. Auction house. And you can filter by only that card right there. But you'll only show him. I won't show any other any other junk stuff. So the cheapest way you'll be able to see them on the auction house, okay? You can also do the A to 81 filter. A to 81 filter is always good at to some point. You just you have to be patient when you're flipping because I know a lot of a lot of you guys are not very patient when you're flip, flipping right now. Some people I had comments saying this bet the dead already. It met the dead by the time you post the video. Um so, you do realize flipping cannot be dead. Flipping 
cannot be a dead method. It's not possible for it to be a dead method. You might just get a little, you might, it might be a little slow for you, but it's not dead ever. Flipping is, a, is, a, is, a, is one of the only methods in the game that can't die out. Because it's not possible for it to. But another thing you guys can do, if you guys have high coins, like, so first, if you have lower coins, you want to be sniping these eight, eight, one overall cards, you sniping some gold if you want. But if it's higher coins, what I realized today, I was just on stream a little bit. I was just sniping like A6, A7s, but Ultra Alumni, like, eight, these 85s, like, you're going to see these, 80, these 85 overall cards go for so cheap on the market. People might throw them up for 40, 50, 60k, some of these cards. And that's going to be profit for mo most times, I'm going to assume. If Eric can go for like 90, 90, 100k, you give for 50k, that's still a pretty good profit. You might, say, you might have him go for 200k, give for 150, 120, that's pretty good profit. Like, people are spamming this up for Lamar. Because Lamar Jackson is Lamar Jackson. And you know from previous previous games, Lamar Jackson is a beast. People always need quarterbacks. That's the one thing in this game everybody needs. Everybody needs quarterbacks. Just like you can look look at look at the in case you missed the program, I'll show you right here. Yes, this program is a little bit different because there is more cards. There's more A sixes, so the pack the set is more um, diverse on your pulls. But what's the same is the eighty five overalls. The eighty five overalls were good investments for people. You could have gotten for so cheap because everyone's spamming the set. You buy the cards for cheap. Hold on to them for a day or two, and just sell them back for profit. That's what, that's what some people have been doing. It's pretty decent to do. And yeah, you can also snipe. Look, you can just go through. I mean, I'm just checking in case you missed it because that's the newest program that came out. Came out yesterday. So like, there's more consistent cards on here. But you want to be car just getting these cards for 40k, flip back for 50. Ultimate Alumni might be the same thing. You might be able to buy them for 40, sell them back for 50. It might be more, it might be cheaper. I don't, you got, you got to look at the market and compare the prices. You got to make sure you know what you're looking for to sell. You times whatever price the, the cheapest card is going for, times by 0.9, and minus how much profit you want to get. It's what you want to buy the card for. So example, if this card is going for 50K, you times by 0.9, so it says 45K. If you want to make a a 5k profit you want to buy the card for 40k or less so then that's what you want to go for that's what your goal is to buy the card for a2 is example let's let's check all i'm going to go look at all 82 overall players let's go look at the unfiltered price real quick unfiltered price is gonna be at 28 i think um 27, 28. I'm just gonna say 28. It might be cheaper tomorrow. It might be more expensive. 28 will be after that. After tax, it's gonna be like 25, 200. If I make, if I want to make a 4k, 5k profit, I'm gonna want to buy for 20, 21k. It sell back for 28. So what I'm filtering, you can either filter by position by position if you want to. I mean, it's really your, it's really your choice. Uh, sort, sort of for, filter by position for filter. When you're filtering by position by position, you're gonna need to know more prices because of the correlates that you that go for more that you have to remember in your head. But it can also be can lead you to a lot more profit. Profit on this filter can can go crazy, crazy, crazy. People aren't really looking at the core cards when new programs drop. Like if like let's for like in case this program came out, nobody's gonna be looking at. The halfbacks that were that were A two A threes. They're only gonna be looking at the Quentin Cooley A three overall. But they're not gonna be looking at Marshall Falk or Montreal Johnson Jr. Let's be honest right now. Who's looking at those guys? Who's looking at any of these players when we've in case you missed a new cart new halfbacks came out? What uh, came out? What's the point? Same thing as like like when 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 in case missed came out. Who is looking at Jordan James? Who is sniping for Jordan James? Let's be honest right now. Nobody was. Nobody was sniping for any card uh, except for Ultimate Alumni. Same thing uh, literally happened for every position, like this filter. When Story of the Week came out, people were looking for the A2 tie and they weren't looking for the other cards right here. They weren't even thinking, they like they didn't even have like these other tie on, even on their brain. Like, there was this one, there was this 
one titan, Jack Velling. This is like the best, one of the best titans in the game. This dude's a monster. Nobody cared about him though. You probably got him for cheaper because everyone was not paying attention. Because people will just leave stuff on the auction house for many, like minutes upon minutes. It's for no reason. But one last thing I want to go over is how if there is cards that are overlapping each other, like same position for like 80 to 81, I'll say there's two quarterbacks, okay? The way you want to sort by them, I'm just going to give you an example in Legends because Legends has two cards for every team and same position. Not every team, but like some, you know what I mean. You go look at the 80 to 81. Brian Erlacher. Brian Erlacher has an 81 overall and the 80 overall. We, sort by, we look at the 81 overall. We see, we see that he's 13K or whatever. But that's the only way, that's the only way to search up only is 81 because he plays for the same team, same name, same everything. So you can't actually diverse him between him and his 80 unless you sort by the catalog or if you or if you own him in your collection, you can search him up in there too. But this is the, this is the best way if you don't own the card and you want to sort by only one player to filter them by. It's in your catalog. You want to go to the player you're looking for. It's overpopulated. Click on the card and do that. It's the best thing to do. Like so, example another one. Like case you missed the program came out. We have we have two quarter we have um two low overall, two low quarterbacks. We have this eighty and this eighty one. The way you filter them, you click on the eighty overall. These eighty and eighty one were both flooded. So by the eighty overall, we can only see the eighty overall quarterback right there. You can sign up only him. If you want to refresh on him? I'll show you. I'll refresh them quicker. Once I get into this card right here, you click on this, the way you refresh, you click X on the card, you back out, refresh, the, it refreshes everything. You click on the card and you back out and refresh it, it refreshes everything. And you just do that over and over again until you get your snipes. If you want to be doing this stuff, but I showed you guys all the filters to be doing. My recommendation is me doing A2 to A3s. If you have lower coins, you can try the A to 81s. Some people, some people might be, able, some people might do the 85, 8, the 84, 85. Some people might do 86, 87. But most consistent will be anything between the 80 to 83 range. 8 to 83 if you have more coins. 8 to 81 if you have low coins. And make sure you guys like, subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.